Hello, I'm Jabril Harris Seeds. I'm with Langston Morris and Emory Coopersman. And today we're going to be discussing who's going to win the NFC East. Langston, take it away. All right, so the NFC East is a very tightly contested division with a very, with a very decent core of players and teams. I mean, there's, those four teams are on the rise and they're going to be very good. My prediction is I say the New York football giants are going to be winning the NFC East. They have too much talent on offense. Elon Manning is still a quarter is still a good quarterback. He's not a trash quarterback. He's still a decent quarterback in the NFL. And they still have decent talent on offense and on defense. I mean, they have Odell Beckham Jr. Like that guy is like a living cheat code. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Langston. I think the Giants will also I also think the Giants will win the division. They just picked up many players to improve their defense. Plus, they have Eli Manning coming off of a great season, one of the best in his career, and that, and now, this upcoming season, he's going to have Sterling Shepard, Odell Beckham, and Victor Cruz all healthy and ready to go. Now, let's discuss the AFC South, which in my opinion was by far the worst um, division last year. So, who do you think is going to come up, come out on top on that division? I think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win the AFC South. They had an amazing draft and an amazing offseason, and their Blake Bortles is is a rising quarterback. He's going to be great in the NFL. I think the Jaguars are going to take this division. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with you. I'm going to have to say the Indianapolis Colts. Andrew Luck just got paid all that money. They're not going to just pay him to do nothing. He's going to be a good player in the NFL. He's going to be a good quarterback next year. The Jaguars are a good team, but the Colts talent with Andrew Luck and the Andrew Luck can't match. Andrew Luck is much better than Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles can't match up. All right, now let's discuss who's going to take it all. What are your 2017 Super Bowl predictions? 2017 Super Bowl predictions. I'm taking the Seattle Seahawks versus the Arizona Cardinals. No, that can't happen. Never mind. Arizona Cardinals versus the... All right, well, since Evan can't decide on what team he wants to pick, I think he's having a little bit of a difficult time deciding on what team. I have to say the Seahawks and probably the Steelers. Don't worry about this. This, this. this has no influence on my opinion at all. It's just the Steelers have so much talent. I mean, their defense is getting better every day. They're, making, they're getting help in the secondary. Ben Roethlisberger is still Ben Roethlisberger, the man himself, Big Ben. And just, they're running, they're running. Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, they're both really great talents. Uh, they lost one right receiver, but they're getting more talent. Each time they lose talent, they're adding talent. And I think the Steelers can make it all the way. Their main opposition last year was the Bengals, who they should have probably lost to, but they, the Bengals made too many stupid mistakes. But now their talent can outweigh the team that they had last year, and I think they can beat anybody in the NFL this year. So Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to go ahead and say the Raiders and the Seahawks. Because uh, the Raiders, you know, with Derek Carr, he, he, there's a lot of talent in him. I think he's going to have a, a really good um, breakout year next year. And then the Seahawks with Russell, with Russell Wilson and a good receiving core. I think we're going to make it really far next year. And their defense, that you know, that's always remained strong. But and same with the uh, the Raiders. You know, their defense is, is a top tier defense in the NFL. And I think that um, Derek Derek Carr is going to have a breakout season next year. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Arizona Cardinals and the New England Patriots. And the Cardinals are going to take it all. I think. Carson Palmer is playing the best he has in his life. Larry Fitzgerald is getting old, but I think he can keep going. And Bruce Arians is such, just such a great coach. I think he can lead his team to greatness and a championship this year. All right, now, we haven't talked about one division in particular, the division that produced the Super Bowl team for the NFC. We're going to be talking about the NFC South. Now, the Atlanta Falcons, the Carolina Panthers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the New Orleans Saints are the four teams in that division. Who do you think, talent-wise, is the best team in that division? The, still got to be the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton is in the prime of his life. Jonathan Stewart is great. They got Luke Keekley, a great defensive line. 
Their defense is solid. It's got to be the Panthers. The Falcons are getting much better. And the Saints have a lot of talent. So do the Buccaneers, really. But the Panthers have just got to be the best team in this division. What I have to say about the NFC South is that, with the exception of the Panthers, it's a lot of raw talent in that division. And so, you know, it's obviously the Carolina Panthers. Um, but, yeah, so, Lincoln, what do you have to say? Okay. All right, so I think the Atlanta Falcons – are very very close second. The Carolina Panthers, I agree with you guys, are the best team talent wise. But I think if they were gonna go to the Super Bowl or be great, this was their year when they went to the Super Bowl and they just completely lost it. Cam Newton gets rattled too easily. Every time someone gets in his face and pressures him a little bit, he falls apart. He crumbles like a cookie. You can't have that in an NFL starting quarterback. I think the Carolina Panthers are not gonna be as good as they were last year, and their talent cannot make up for Cam Newton's cookie crumble. That is true. That is true. So that is all the time we have today um, from 69.2 Game. Thanks to our sponsors from Subway, Eat Fresh, I'm Jabril Harris Seeds, Evan Cooper Smith, and Lexi Morris. Good night.